hello there welcome back to my channel thank you for tuning in today we are going to talk about how to create an epic youtube thumbnail in adobe photoshop so without any further ado let's jump into it So we're going to create our new page go to new and then this is the size of the page 1920 pixels by 1080 with 72 dpi and the background color we are looking for is black or you can pick any colors you like so press ok so first thing what we need we need an image so i'm going to open an image let's open this image so what we're going to do now we're going to add our text so select the text tool from here and click and add the text you would like to add so here i'm going to add how to create a thumbnail in photoshop so okay so what we're going to do now everything is fine now i'm happy with the text uh, you can zoom it out and then you can see now the text is easily readable not all of it but i come back to it again now what i'm going to do i'm going to add a background into the text so what i'm going to do i'm going to go to google and just search bluish background and i'm happy with this background simply copy image and press ctrl v and paste the document into press the image into our document now this image is from Shutterstock. We are just using this image for the education purposes only. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to cut this area from the bottom. We don't need that. Press Ctrl 0 to see the whole picture and press Ctrl T and enlarge the document. Do not worry about the pixelation. We are going to do something about it where you won't be able to see, notice all those things. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to right click on this uh, layer and convert into smart object so in case i'm going to add some filter on this background and in case i want to come back later on and change some values i can do that so this is the reason why i convert this layer into smart subject so filter and uh, i'm going to add some noise here yeah make sure this is checked 20 should be fine and now i'm going to so you you, you see what's going on here we go all these things there and now we am just working on the background what i basically want to do i want to create a blur effect in the background so you can easily see what's going on so now let me let me put this layer underneath so you know exactly what i'm doing so everything is there what i'm going to do now i'm going to add uh, another filter go to blur and this time i'm going to add radial blur yes okay so mount all the way zeros zoom and then select the best from here and press ok so here basically you can see all this bold nice text here i am using gotham ultra this is a free phone you can find them on youtube or the font and if you wanna i have a video on the phones especially for the thumbnail and if you wanna see uh or if you wanna see more similar font like this like more bold and easy to read fonts which are very good for the YouTube thumbnail. I'm going to put the link in the description below or you can see the card somewhere on the screen and uh, let's get back to it. Yeah, so I'm going to keep the color of this epic as white thumbnail. Let's change it. Now here you are going to use color of your channel. Whatever colors you are having, there must be two or three colors. Your color scheme which repre represents your channel which represents which represents your channel uh, every channel has one and if you don't have one make sure you do because that's the branding of your channel later on that these colors or your branding is basically uh, recognition of your channel so whatever colors you have you are going to use those color into your thumbnail i'm just showing here how to make a thumbnail so all the colors, the background color, the text color, all those colors you can change according to your brands. I hope you got it. Let's back to it. So epic, I'm going to keep it wide. Thumbnail, thumbnails, I'm going to get this yellowish color thumbnail. Or oh, what if I put the epic? No, this is too big. Okay, I'm going to keep 
epic wide and thumbnail and in Photoshop I don't wanna you see all the text is they are all really nice bold fonts so it doesn't matter how small your thumbnail is it would be easily readable so here we go I'm going to press that there thumbnail epic I'm going to make this slightly big I'm going to select all these text and it's going to centralize it so select by pressing control key or simply select all those text from here and press this icon on the top to get all those uh, text centralized now I'm going to press control T from the uh, from the keyboard and enlarge it a bit this much now this is too big that should be fine now it's time to add some shadows into our text to make it stand out so in epic I'm going to just simply double click on the layer and uh, here I'm going to click on this drop shadow and just simply click do you see what I'm doing now I have select the drop shadow and all those properties belongs to drop shadow make sure you click on drop shadow here so now I am moving my mouse and moving the shadow according to what I want so here I can reduce the intensity of the shadow app it should be fine and in thumbnail I'm going to select the layer first double click on the layer and here drop shadow so here I'm going to click the thumbnail okay how to make what I'm going to do I'm going to add a background so this text can be stand out a little bit more because I don't want to have all those white colors in the text so I have added a rectangular here what I'm going to do I'm going to drag this layer down so you can see how to make the text on top of this rectangular and now I'm going to select this text layer I simply select the text tool double click on it and select all and then click on this area and then you can pick any text color you want okay that is fine and in Photoshop so what I'm going to do I'm going to create another rectangular at the bottom of the Photoshop now again the same thing you can see the rectangular on the top you can't see the text because the rectangular is basically sitting on the top of on the top of text yes okay so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring it down so now you can see the Photoshop and uh, here I'm going to add the, the bluish color and with the help of arrow keys on the keyboard you can set the positioning of the rectangular or any subject or object on the document okay that is fine now the text is almost fine now we are going to work on the image so let's add some effects or maybe outline of the image to make the image stand out okay let's put it back let's select this subject and double click on the layer okay now we get this layer style properties again and what we're going to do well, we are going to add a stroke this time so just notice on the screen what is happening if I simply click on the stroke check you see the stroke is there now but you won't be able to see all those options related to stroke because this is why you need to click on the stroke so when you click on it you see all those options get changed now these are the options related to stroke so make sure you always click on it so I'm going to keep this uh, 5 and what if I add another stroke you can add as many stroke as you like here you can see the plus sign next to it you can add more simply click on it you can add multiple strokes within one layer style and you can add same thing goes with the drop shadow you can add multiple drop shadows just simply click on these plus icons and then these will add more effects within one layer style and again you can you can remove all those uh, and again you can remove the extra styles by simply clicking on it and if you remove any uh, layer style by mistake simply click on this effects panel and you can add any remaining or deleted or unwanted uh, text back to layer style 
okay so let's back to the stroke here we go i'm going to add another stroke here and this time is black you can increase the intensity or the size of the stroke from here and change the color from there here we go i think that should be fine okay press okay now we, we have added the text but my text is uh, i'm going to press ctrl t and move my image slightly because i want to see the fingers coming on top of it so what i'm going to do i'm going to put the epic text layer behind my image so you can see my finger on top of the epic so i'm going to select this epic and and simply drag it down underneath here now you can see the epic there but this stroke is slightly too big so i'm going to double click on this layer and go back to this stroke the white one not the white one that this one and here i'm going to reduce the stroke that should be fine okay you hardly be able to notice all those small bumps so if you zoom in you can see those small bumps up there on the side because that's the selection i didn't make a perfect selection in the start if you are really a perfectionist and you wanna have those smooth edges on the side of the image on this side what tool can make a better selection than a pen tool that is the most epic tool we have in photoshop to make those precise selections and if you and if you don't know how to use that tool i'm going to add the link in the description below or you can see the card somewhere on the top simply click on it and you will get to the tutorial where i explain how to use the pen tool in order to make the precise selection for the full show okay let's head back to it now we see almost everything is fine now it's looking fine is if you zoom out it doesn't matter how small is it you can easily read your thumbnail so what i'm going to do i'm going to add a little vignette around the subject so on the border of the thumbnail so our text or whatever image we have in the thumbnail can pop out so just simply select the layer and select the marquee tool and feather is 100 and i'm going to make a rough selection with the rectangular marquee tool that is fine now you see we have created this selection with the feather so what i'm going to do i'm going to press ctrl shift i from the keyboard and you can see the selection has been reverted so i'm going to add a new layer here and i'm going to add a color this one into our selection now you can see we have added a nice vignette around the image so what i'm going to do i'm going to select the blending mode to multiply just zoom it out now you can see how nicely our image and the text has stand out now if i sorry now if i zoom out now you can see before and after how nicely the image is standing out from the from the background so you see how easy it is to make a thumbnail an outstanding thumbnail in photoshop i see there are many websites out there who provide you thumbnail but if you are going to spend five seven minutes or ten minutes creating that thumbnail there and still you won't be able to make a custom thumbnail which is according to your needs or a, a custom thumbnail especially for your channel so if you have all those basic skills in photoshop i highly recommend to make your thumbnail in photoshop it's easy it's nice and you can do whatever you want with a little knowledge of photoshop and you will end up with a nice epic thumbnail i hope this video helps and if any one of you are not familiar with photoshop please go ahead and subscribe this channel because this channel is all about photoshop you will find all the tips tricks and tutorial especially designed for the beginners and if you like this video don't forget to click the like button and please don't forget to subscribe this channel i hope to see you in the next video bye now